In Nicaragua alone, there's probably hundreds of kids every year born with cleft lip and palate who can't get treated. Kids in remote areas don't have access to care. For the last several years, I've volunteered in Nicaragua. Uh, I lead teams of uh, surgeons and nurses uh, who go down and provide free surgery for uh, children with congenital deformities. We're so busy, we have very little time to sit and get to know the patients and get to know their families. We come back here, we sit down in front of the webcam, we're using WebEx, the human touch has been enhanced, ironically, because I have more time to spend with these patients and their families. It really felt like I was making a house call. I'm an otolaryngology resident. Uh, I'm a fifth year in the program. Currently, I am working on a project with uh, Dr. Patrick Byrne uh, with uh, children in Nicaragua. The surgical therapy is easy enough to provide during the week or two weeks that people are there. However, the follow-up care is what's lacking uh, in these places. As with any child that has a cleft palate, they have multiple uh, issues with speech and swallowing. Allison is a, uh, a little girl we operated on a year before in Nicaragua. She had trouble speaking, we fixed her palate. So the first WebEx session that I set in on was a therapy session for Allison. So we had her going through the list of words and she had trouble saying the word cat in Spanish, which is gato. Allison was having some difficulty in terms of moving air out of her mouth instead of out of her nose. And we had Allison put her hand in front and I was demonstrating it for her here. Allison, feel the air on your hand. Gato. And Allison, instead of saying, I don't know, finally said gato. And it was an exciting moment for all of us because it was then that we knew that this was going to work and that we were going to be able to make a meaningful difference in these children's lives. Collaboration is key in this project, whether it's collaborating with the physicians, with the professionals on the ground in Nicaragua, the families, with the speech pathologist, and with the technical people who are involved in this project. We've been able to take a physical therapist in Nicaragua with no prior experience doing speech therapy, and through these WebEx sessions, we've been able to train her how to diagnose and treat children's speech disorders. When I speak to colleagues about our experience using WebEx, I'm very positive. It's been a phenomenal tool for us to extend our reach far beyond the borders of our hospital. It's just been an, an amazing improvement for these children in school, at home. Family members can understand them, their friends can understand them, their teachers can understand them. Working with WebEx technology and the children in Nicaragua has been one of the most rewarding and exciting experiences in my career. 